Hello traders. In this video, we are going to see how to plot support and resistance in any stock. So we all know the importance of support resistance. If you are a trader, investor for short term or long term. So support resistance is the most important thing which every trader uses. Even if one trades in equities, futures or even in options, support resistance is the most important thing. I am a trader, investor as well as an option seller. So I use support resistance in all three scenarios. As an investor, I see long term support resistance to take the investing decisions. So in this video, let's see how to plot the support resistance. So when I searched in Google, how to draw support and resistance, like there are n number of ways people teach us on how to draw support and resistance. But how really one needs to look at support resistance. So for this video, I'll take the example of HDFC Bank. So I am currently using the software called TradingView. I have a premium version of it, which has a lot of features, which will be very helpful if you are a full time trader. So I recommend everyone to start analyzing the chart and to draw support resistance from the highest time frame, which is monthly. So how to draw support resistance? So basically the point where the trend reverses or the stock changes its direction is the where we need to plot support resistance. But every candle is in of different shapes and different sizes and we find it difficult to exactly plot the support resistance. So it is always good to use line chart which shows only the closing price where the trend reversal point happens. So I'll click on the line chart. So I'll use the horizontal line feature. And this particular point seems to be a very big trend reversal point where the stock falls from the top and then reverses completely taking a complete U-turn. So this we can e easily call it as a trend reversal point for support resistance. And even this point can be called as support resistance. And even this point can be marked as support resistance. So I use various color codes for different time frames to avoid any confusion when a lot of support resistance comes up. So I preferably use red color for the highest time frame. So once I mark the support resistance for the highest time frame, I will again change back to the candlestick chart. So this is how the support resistance looks like. Now I have made these lines visible in all the time frames. So what I'll do now is go down each time frame till the time frame which I really trade. So now I move on to the weekly time frame, but usually I use the monthly, daily, hourly and the 15 minutes, but it's always good to see the weekly trend also. So here again, when we go to the line chart, if the monthly support resistance more or less matches with the weekly support, it is not necessary to again draw a support resistance for the weekly too, because it will make the chart very crowded and confuses us at times to take any trading decisions. 
So this point can also be considered as a support resistance since market has been taking support over here for many times like we have one two three touch points so and I'll mark this color maybe in orange color or uh, I'll prefer with the violet or the purple and I'll take out the monthly from the visibility point because the lower time frame support resistance has nothing to, to nothing to do with the higher time frames so i don't see any other support resistance majorly in the current markets scenario so now i'll move to the daily time frame Here again I will move to the line chart. So here this seems to be a very major support which we have already plotted in the weekly time frame. So it is not necessary that we have to again plot it here. Maybe this area can be plotted as a resistance. So and we will use probably the blue color and the visibility will take off the beak so that it is not visible in the weekly time frame maybe there is one resistance over here the stock got rejected multiple times here so we'll again consider this as a resistance area So now we move to the one hour time frame. So here the stock seems to be take support in this area which is already marked in while in purple which denotes the weekly time frame support as well as the one day support then there is the blue line which is the one day support maybe this point is a major trend reversal point which we can mark in the one hour time chart which the current market is also at we'll go to the line chart then we'll plot it here and we'll color code it with green color and change the visibility only for the hours and the minutes so that it is visible only for one hour and 15 minutes or not for one day yeah so by this you can even further go down to the 15 minutes or even five minutes or three minutes based on your trading style so it depends on each person's each traders trading style So most of the trend reversal or the direction of the stock changes in the major support resistance points. Like if you see in the one hour chart, it has taken support in the monthly time frame support and as trend has reversed, then it has taken multiple resistance over here again, which has changed as a support here again it moves on the opposite direction but no one can predict which support resistance would work it all comes down to the risk management of a trader so if you are an intraday trader the preferable time frames would be 1 minute 5 minute and 15 minutes and they have nothing much to do with the higher time frames maybe they can just see the overall trend what is happening for the day on one hour but their entire trading would be based on one minute five minute and 15 minute and if you are if you are a btst trader that is buy today and sell tomorrow trader then you can use 15 minute 30 minute and one hour time frame charts and even can look the overall trend using the one day and if you are a short term trader then looking at 15 minute one hour and one day would be preferable 
and when it comes to option selling or option buying weekly expiry traders can make use of these time frame charts that is 15 minutes one hour and one day and if you are a medium to long term trader or an investor or even an option buyer or seller who does buying and selling in monthly or two months or even six months far away options expiries then looking at one hour one day and one month one week and even one month to know the broad trend so i hope this video was helpful on how to draw the support resistance if you are interested i'll show all the features of this software trading view premium version which is very helpful which has lot of features you can even set alerts when a when the stock comes to a particular level and you have different features which i can show you so for that i am expecting lot of support from the viewers and uh, expecting at least 50 likes to this video so that i can come up with a new video of your choice or the trading the trading view software video and more videos more such videos are posted in our telegram channel for which the description is given in the video below thank you see you in the next video bye